It's Billy, the Naughty Professor, and today I'm going to show you a new knot. Eh, it's not really new. I actually came up with the idea a few months ago, but I've been searching and searching all over the net trying to make sure there was not another tie exactly like this. So, uh, this is it. Kind of a classy looking knot. I'm going to call it the Bond Knot, and uh, doesn't matter why. I just like it. Um, actually, it, it's uh, a friend of mine just had heart surgery, and I thought I might do this to help cheer her up. So uh, this is the bond knot. I'm going to take this down, show you how it's done, see what you think, and uh, be sure to let me know what you think. Most definitely. I'll be right back. All right, so collar is up, tie is down. I've got the point of my blade, which is the big end, right about halfway between my belly button and my belt line. We'll start off, of course, making our pinch. And bring that pinch to the center. Take your tail, bring it across the top of that. Like so. Alright. Head around the back of the tie. And then cross the front butt down through the center. Like so. So you've got your general shape. We'll go across the front one more time. Around the back up through the center. Remember if I'm going too fast you can always pause this. So we've got our first little down cross section here, whatever you want to call it. We'll take that around the back, leaving that a little loose because we're taking the tail right through that loop. Don't tighten it too tight once you do that though because we're coming back through here in a minute. I, I came up with the idea for this when I mistied an Eldridge knot and it looked pretty dang good. So anyway, once we come through there, we're going down that direction. Make sure to keep any folds and everything out of it if you can. Again, don't tighten it too tight because we're going to do this again after we do this. Around the front, like so. And we're going to go through here again. But we're going through both of these original loops. Okay, so it looks a mess right now, but we'll use this first down loop to tighten up this one. Use this one. I have to get this all sorted out in my head. Use this one to tighten that one. without pulling it all the way through use the last one to tighten up the next to the last one and even if it's a little loose it still looks really good anything extra here tighten it up as much as you want it's kinda like the tighter the better the more classy it looks in my opinion Tuck it away under the extra under your collar, cinch it up to your neck. Hopefully you've been able to follow this. Again, very classy looking. Once the collar is down anyway. There you have it. That is the bond knot down below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment if necessary if you feel the need, but definitely subscribe. If you know someone that has to wear a tie to work every day, again, uh, between me, Patrick Novotny, Limwood Darkness, otherwise found on YouTube as Who Sees This, and Boris Maka, you are going to find some ties that fit your style. There's a few other folks that follow me that uh, are coming up with some really, really great ideas. I know them mostly on Instagram, but uh, we'll see you again next time I come up with a new knot, which will not be very long because I've got a couple of other ideas that I have kind of gleaned from other ties that I've seen. Like I've, I've got a couple ideas loosely based on the Van Wick knot. If you haven't seen that, very cylindrical shape right through here. But uh, with all that being said, if you got to be naughty, make sure it's K-N-O-T-T-Y and have a great day. See you next time.